Meanwhile, in news across Texas, Texas Supreme Court Justice Nathan Hecht has been at the forefront of some of the biggest stories in Texas politics this year. Ryan Chandler sat down with him for an exclusive interview as he enters his final year in office. We cannot respond to politics. All of that is off limits. Chief Justice Nathan Hecht is leaving the court at a crucial time. He's concerned about the influence of politics on what should be the only apolitical branch. The culture of the judiciary just has to be divorced from the political system. But in Texas, it can be a messy divorce. Supreme Court justices are elected with an R or D next to their name. And the R's have dominated all nine seats since 1998. And all nine rely on contributions for expensive campaigns. It's just a very troublesome uh, side effect of Texas way of selecting judges. The court is also dealing with the most politically charged issue in recent memory. By June, Hecht's court is expected to rule on the case of Amanda Zorowski, who's joining with 19 other women to challenge Texas's abortion ban after a complicated pregnancy nearly killed her. What was going through your mind when, when you're thinking about uh, the, the challenge to Texas's abortion ban right now? You're thinking to yourself, uh, I want to do everything possible to make sure that you as a, a reporter, as the people that were sitting here in the room, the people who are watching on the webcast, come away thinking, uh, well, that was fair. Uh, however it comes out, uh, that was fair. Uh, and then when the decision does come out, I do hope there'll be some re recollection of that and thinking they listened. Uh, it's not a political decision for them. At 74 years old, Next year will be his last on the bench before he hits the mandatory retirement age of 75. Voters declined to raise that age in November, a decision he doesn't necessarily agree with, but takes in stride. Do you feel capable and, and, and ready and able to, to continue this job if you could? I do, um, but you know, I, other people should judge that. Um, and I think, um, fortunately, I have colleagues who would come to me and say, uh, you know, um, maybe you should think about something else, uh, which has not happened. I think, importantly, if you have worked very hard, uh, as I've tried to do, um, and tried to make a difference, uh, you'll keep doing that, whether um, your name's on the door upstairs or not. And Ryan and the Chief Justice spoke for more than 30 minutes on a range of topics, including his thoughts on the Ken Paxson impeachment trial and Texas's new specialty business courts. The full interview can be heard online on anywhere you can download your podcasts.